question number 11 how to create a table in sql to create a table in sql the create table statement is used this statement creates a new table with a specified name and columns the syntax of the create table statement varies slightly depending on the database management system being used but the general structure is similar here are some steps to create a table in sql first specify the database where the table will be created this can be done by either including the database name in create table statement or by using the use statement to select the desired database step number 2 use the create table statement to create a new table the syntax for this statement typically includes the name of a new table and the names and data types of columns to be included in the table third step optionally specify additional constraint or properties of the table such as primary keys foreign keys and default values for example the following code creates a table named employee with three columns Uh, SQL code is like that. Create table employees. Then a small bracket ID int 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 that is a data type and primary key declare primary key. Then name varchar that is also data type with a maximum limit of characters is fifty. Uh, salary decimal salary decimal up to ten figures with two decimal points. This creates a table with column. for id name and salary the id column is set as a, the primary key for the table and the salary column is defined with the data type of decimal then come to the specific syntax and options for the create table statement may vary depending on database being used so next question is question number 12 what are tables and fields tables and fields are fundamental concept in database management system including sql databases a table in a database is a collection of related data stored in rows and columns similar to a spreadsheet the tables are used to organize and store data in a structured way that can be easily queried modified and analyzed tables also have properties that can be set to control their characteristics and behavior fields also known as columns are the individual data elements that are stored within a table each field represent a specific type of data such as uh, text numbers dates or boolean values fields uh, also have uh, properties that can be set to control their behavior and characteristic such as data type length and format to create a table in sql one can use the create table statement where each column in the table is defined along with its data type any other properties once the table is created fields can be added to it by defining new columns in the table definition in summary tables and fields uh, are the basic building blocks of relational database system tables are used to organize and store data while fields are the individual data elements within a table question number 13 how to delete a table in how to delete a table in sql server answer is to delete a table in sql server there are several methods you can use and the following web search results provide instruction on how to do so one way to delete a table in sql server is to use the sql drop table statement you can use the following syntax to delete a table So drop table then table name in semicolon be careful before dropping a table as deleting a table will result in loss of all information stored in table another method to delete a table in sql server is to use drop table statement in transact sql this statement removes one or more table definition Now all data indexes triggers constraint and permission specifications for those tables to report the dependencies on table you can use sys.dm underscore sql underscore referencing underscore entities any view or stored procedure that references the drop table must be explicitly dropped by using drop view or drop procedure 
Third, you can also delete a table in SQL Server using SQL Server Management Studio. In Object Explorer, select the table you want to delete. Right click the table and choose delete from shortcut menu. A message box prompt you to confirm the deletion. Click yes to delete the table. Keep in mind that deleting a table permanently removes all data and object associated with the table. So make sure you have a backup of your data before proceeding with the deletion. How to update a database table using SQL. To update a database table using SQL, you can use the update statement. The update statement allows you to change the mix existing data in a table by specifying the table name, the columns to modify and the conditions that determine which record to update. Here are the syntax and basic steps to follow. Syntax SQL code is update table table name and set column 1 is equal to value 1 comma column 2 is equal to value 2 where condition then steps steps first step is start the statement with update keyword followed by the name of table you want to modify use the set keyword to specify the columns to be modified and new values you want to set for each column Use the WHERE clause to specify conditions that determines which records should be updated. If you omit the WHERE clause, all records in the table will be updated. So we, so we have to be careful. Execute the statement to update the table. Here are few examples of how to use update statement. SQL code in update employees set salary is equal to 60,000 WHERE department is equal to sales this is statement update the salary column to 60,000 for all employees who work in sales department so example 2 is update products and products is a table where we set a price is equal to price into 1.1 where category is electronics this is statement increase the price of all products in electronics category by 10%. Overall, the update statement is powerful tool for modifying the data in your database table. Just make sure to use it carefully and double check your conditions before executing the statement to avoid unintended consequences. What is database relationship? A database relationship refers to way two or more tables are connected based on data they share. In a relational database, tables are related to each other tables are related to each other based on a common field which is called a key the key is used to identify a specific record in a table and it is used to connect tables in a database there are three different types of relationship in a relational database one to one relationship one to many relationship many to many relationship a one to one relationship each record in a first table can have one corresponding record in second table and vice versa. In a one to many relationship, each record in the first table can have one or more corresponding record in second table. But each record in the second table can have only one corresponding record in first table. In a many to many relationship, each record in the first table can have one or more corresponding record in the second table and vice versa.